Hello guys, welcome to the game of like the Fellowship of Floats, published by Com to us. Alright, so today is actually the 10th day of the Infinite Tower being released, which means that we are able to clear the last floor, the 100th floor, if we have been clearing every 10 floors since the day of the release, since we can only clear the Infinite Tower 10 times per day. So I have actually reserved the final floor for me to record a video on this. So the victory condition, okay, is of course to kill the boss here, the lean. But, well, all the enemies here will have a shield. Okay, they will have a shield appearing that will only disappear after they, re they, re they receive certain amounts of hits. So actually the best composition for this 100th 100 floor is actually to bring heroes that can that have skills that hit multiple times because they will bring down the shield really fast but since it is like I'm testing this run so let's just try it out with just some the hero that I usually use okay Be, bear in mind that this composition is not the best because every because all of these heroes are just hitting like one to two hits they're hitting very little so they are actually not good in this 100th floor okay well the best composition is to bring heroes that hit multiple times well this time I'm bringing them firstly is just to test and secondly is because most of my good runes are on them yeah they have most of my good runes This should do it, I guess. Now it's time to stall. Well, similar to exploration, stalling is very important in order to get all your heroes cool down. So as you guys can see, there are like few hits that I need to do in order to break the shield. So this team is actually not the best team out there. And it's actually one of the worst combination, if I would like to say, because all of them is just doing like one hit. So they are not the best out there. So the best is to like bring, you know, the one that I have that I could think of is like uh, Kaor, Lin. Well, who did multi-hit some more? I think Rin. Yeah. Those heroes are doing multiple hits, but unfortunately I don't have them built very well, to be honest. So yeah, their shield is broken, but my barrel is gone. Alright, so Lin is dead, so the game is ended. Okay, yeah, remember guys, in Infinite Tower, once you kill the main boss for every 5 floor, Okay, for every five for every five floor for every five floors, they are actually a main boss. In this case, it's Lin. Once you have killed Lin, you automatically win the battle. You don't have to kill everyone. Okay, remember, this is the same for every floor. Well, remember, guys, when I start clearing the Infinite Tower, I was like thinking, hey, why the David is dancing in like I think floor number f number five? Why the why the David is dancing there? Well, actually, I didn't realize that I have actually killed the boss the main boss once you kill the main boss you completed the tower 
So actually to tackle the strategy to tackle this flaw is to actually bring multi hitters. You have to bring multi hitters. Okay, multi hitters. Remember. Well in my cases I really tank it and I really keep damaging them until their shield is off. As you guys can see, the team that I bring here is like more in sustaining. Yeah, they are more on sustaining. It's like Divana, Floria, Zemma, and Velro. Well, my Nia is not so squishy as well, so it's like my whole team is actually sustaining it. So that's that's the final flaw, okay? The flaw number 100, or the 100 flaw. So since that I have made this video, so how about something? Well, let's see how many scrolls I have. All right, 10 scrolls, 10 scrolls. Okay, my wish list. Once again, my wish list is of course, the main wish list, the net five that I wanted the most is, of course, the Ramia. Well, I always say that Ramia, Ramia. Well, because Ramia is actually very useful and it's actually indeed one of the one of the main or one of the top arena monster sorry not monster hero use the wrong term one of the top arena hero because her skill set is great in arena immunity blocks beneficial effect increase skill cooldown disturb hp recovery well her skill is too great in arena to counter to counter the current meta the current meta of those inability effect buff as well as those like divanas okay so now let's see what i get so you can see i have quite a huge amount of crystal over there but sorry i'm not going to summon them okay I'm not going to fall into the trick every time that i summon the result is always that bad so i'm just going to keep it for my for my key refilling Unless, unless there is a net 5 appear in this premium hero scroll, in this 10 premium hero scroll, if there is a net 5, sorry, not net 5, if there is a net 5 that I want, okay, not a dupe, a new net 5 for me, then I will purchase the premium hero scroll pack, okay, if there is a net 5, well, I may even purchase a monthly special pack, the legendary scroll, if there is a net 5 here, well, it's like I'm saying that I'm going to buy a lot of things, but actually, I don't think I will get a net 5 over here, I don't think I will get around me over here so i'm just saying it okay if there's really then i will buy the monthly special pack the special hero scroll pack in this 10 summon okay in this 10 summon if there is a net 5 that i don't have well the net 5 that i don't have is like well especially ramia rama ramia tiad and the new one is called what glenn is it all right let's see well i know most likely i wouldn't get Most likely it's all for this. Not even a single lightning. That's what I'm expecting actually. Well, yeah, that's true. Not even a single lightning. So you'll see guys. My summon, my summoning rate has been so bad, so I'm not going to touch summon that much. Okay, I'm just going to refill it for my runes, refill it for my well essence, and refill it to make more six stars. Okay. So I guess that's all for today. And okay, thank you for watching, and see ya.